Welcome back guys to our channel Wearholic. Today we are going to open the Cospay Tank Event smartwatch and I am doing that to show you what's inside a smartwatch. We will be sacrificing our Cospay Tank Event which has been lying around and not being used for a while now. First, I will be removing the four screws that you see in the front. So without any further delay, let's begin. Full disclaimer, I haven't opened any electronics since high school so it should be fun. Looks like this screw on the watch has gotten stuck. Let's just remove the strap first and try to remove the screw. So guys, screw has now been removed and it's time to remove the bezel. It looks like bezels are glued to the watch. Unfortunately, we don't have a heat gun or rubbing alcohol in our studio. So I will be right back. I have successfully opened the Cospay Tank T1 right here. Don't ask me how. Let's take a look at what's inside. The strip connecting the motherboard to the watch display has broken. So this watch is definitely no longer usable. Let's just remove this broken strip. Let's open the motherboard and see if there is anything beneath it. To get below it, I would need to remove two screws. I have unscrewed the board and now we can see the vibration motor for haptics below it. You can also see the charging pin that is used to charge the watch here. Looks like the battery as well as the heart rate sensor is glued together. And the worst part is even the display is super glued on the watch. Well, to be honest, I don't think anyone is looking to repair these. Nor do I think spares will be easy to find for this watch. You know what? Let's just use good old ports to remove the battery and see the heart rate sensor. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the heart rate sensor as you can see the light it uses to read your heart rate. So guys, that was the teardown of Cospay Tank T1 and what's inside the watch. I have successfully opened the watch, sort of. Now it's your duty to make sure that the Cospay Tank T1 sacrifice doesn't go in vain by pressing that subscribe and like button. With that, it's time to say goodbye. See you here next time.